Hey guys, Brandon here, today taking a look at the Jurassic World Primal Attack Legacy Collection Apatosaurus. Now, this guy is just like the Legacy Collection Brachiosaurus that I reviewed a long time ago, although that review may have been deleted along with my old channel, in fact I think it might have been. But this guy is huge. Um, the box said 41 inches. I don't have a measuring tape with me right here to actually confirm if he is 41 inches, but he's, but it's, this is a big boy. Very large, very large figure, uh, part of the super colossal collection of which this guy and the Brachiosaurus and maybe the Giganotosaurus that eventually gets released are the only ones I really care about, though I do also have the super colossal Mosasaurus. Um, this guy is very large and uh, intended to probably represent the Apatosaurus from Jurassic World uh, and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. He's that's the main draw of this figure is the size, because otherwise there's not a whole lot going for this figure. It is sort of articulated. Um, the legs have, well, they are articulated, but I can't really move them without risking knocking them over. The neck is, well, it was, uh, okay, yeah, you can move the neck, just not very much, especially since I have to hold the camera. The head also not particularly movable. Uh, it does not move side to side very well, unfortunately. I kind of wish it did that a little better. The mouth does open, uh, exposing a rather horrifying little grin he's got there. Ugh. Uh, and the tail, mm, the tail also moves, but I can't really move it that well because of the fact that I have to hold the camera. So really the biggest draw to this guy is his size. He's pretty massive as far as figures go. He's honestly not as good as I was expecting him to be, to be frankly honest, but he's not bad. So, he's uh, definitely not awful. Um, accuracy, scientifically, he's decent, though they did get the number of foot claws wrong, which is not only scientifically inaccurate, that's actually also inaccurate to the movie's model, which actually did get the foot claws right. Um, but he's not awful by any means. I don't know if he's worth the $50 price tag that he's currently going for, but that's a decision you can make on your own. If, if the size attracts you to this thing, then go ahead and get it, but if you don't really care that it's so huge and wanted a better, more articulated figure, then you're going to have to look somewhere else because this guy is uh, not exactly that. But he's not awful. I like him. Not as much as the Brachiosaurus, but I like him well enough. But yeah, so if you want to feel like buying him, go right ahead, but if not, meh.